Hi, I'm Zita, your guiding luminary. Uh, thank you for dropping by for this uh, reading. I was inspired to do uh, a recording with um, someone who's passed. Today happens to be my mom, would have been my mom's birthday. And in honor of her, I was inspired to do this reading. So I hope this connects with you and hopefully you connect with someone who has passed, who's been very instrumental in your life and who's been very dear to you as well. So without further ado, I'd like to present the three packs. This is pile number one, which is represented by a feather, pile number two and pile number three. So take a few seconds to, re to see which pack resonates with you. If it doesn't, perhaps put this video on pause until one does and then resume. I'll put the timestamps below in the description for you. Okay, so without further ado, I will go to pile number one. For those who picked this beautiful feather, um, I love this feather because it reminded me many times when I would think of my mom and ask her to send me some messages. My mom sends me lots of feathers and 10 cents coins, which I collect and I bring to her tombstone. The feathers I keep because they get blown away, but so without further ado, this message is for you. Maybe it is from your mom. Okay, so um, a message for you for someone who's passed and was very dear to you is they're wanting to let you know that they loved you very, very much and they think of you and they're not far. They're always near us. They're just in a different realm. Before you go to bed every night, this person kisses you good night. So maybe you had a ritual with your mom, your dad, or a partner, maybe even a child, you, you would kiss them good night. So this is them. Um, letting you know. So if you feel a light feather touching you on your face, this is the kiss coming from your angel. Um, they're trying to tell you that whatever transpired, it wasn't your fault. Uh, maybe you feel like you didn't do enough to care for your parent, or um, maybe you were in a car accident, or something happened in their passing and you blame yourself, like you didn't do enough, you, you could have done more. Please rest assured that this is not the case. Um, as we come into this life, we have soul purposes and we also sign a contract when we come in and we have opportunities when we stay and we can leave. So this loved one had chosen at this time to pass. So this doesn't matter what you're trying to do. You cannot save them and it was time for them to go. I hope this helps you. Um, many of you may be looking to an opportunity to perhaps meet someone else. Maybe this person who did pass was a spouse or someone very dear and, and caring in your life. And they're being guiding you to try to tell you to, it's time for you to move on. Uh, you're ready, you've grieved and they can never come back. So it's probably time for you to open yourself up for love. And perhaps it's a good time for you to start flirting. And it says so very clearly in this card, it says it is safe for you to love again and open up yourself to the wonders of love. Um, love is what makes the world go around, be flirtatious, open your heart. Maybe there's someone already around you. And um, as you can see, there's a little Cupid here. He's pulling his strings, he's pulling his bow and there's a definite connection so it doesn't really matter if you're male or female, if you're the feminine energy or the masculine energy, if there's someone around you that's interested in you, or maybe it's you interested in somebody. So ask your guides, your loved ones, give you a kiss goodnight to help you bring them to you. And also you're being invited to ask your friends because this relationship or this partnership that can manifest very easily Maybe someone your friends know. Maybe it's in your circle of friends. It's not necessarily someone on the internet or someone in the grocery store or at school. Your friends, unless you're at school with your friends, ask your friends to help you. And this may be a very guiding and beautiful relationship because as you can see, she's wearing what looks like a wedding dress and veil. And again, here's another angel. So there's people around you who want to see the best for you and most likely a parent or a previous spouse they really want to see you married and happy again. Maybe not married, but in a beautiful union with someone who loves you and cares for you. 
very, very deeply. So I hope this message resonates with you. Please like and subscribe to my channel below to help it grow. Um, I'm open to, for personal readings. So if you'd like me to do a personal reading, feel free to contact me. Again, my information is listed below. Thank you. Okay, for those who pick pile number two, this reading is for you. And I love this rock because I found it on a beach in Abu Fada, south of Portugal, and it struck me because it's the shape of a heart. And actually, I was walking on the beach around this time, two years ago, and I asked my mom to show me she was with me. And out of nowhere, this rock appeared. My mom passed over two years ago, and I miss her dearly. And I, keep, I kept this rock. I brought it all the way from Portugal, and I live in Canada. And this is something I is very near and dear to my heart because I know this is my mom communicating with me. Okay, so for those who had someone who passed recently, whoever this person you're thinking of, um, they're trying to let you know that they have a different understanding, a different perspective as they're no longer on earth here. They're not subjugated to all the pain and suffering that goes on here. Maybe this person being a parent or a love, loved one as a, a spouse or a partner, they were maybe not the kindest to you while they were here, but I think they were so boggled up in their own daily trauma and pain and they weren't there as the loving parent who were looking for, the loving sp spouse that you so desperately needed, or a sibling. It could be a sibling that passed. And what they're trying to tell you is that they're sorry because they understand now the life is, once you get out of this 3D chaos and you take yourself away from the day-to-day -day grind, there's more to the world than the hardships we, we have to endure. And this person is very near and dear to you because before they came in, they signed a contract with you. So although you may feel abandoned because it could be a parent who passed uh, or a partner or sibling, their contract with you is still binding because you're still here. And now they become one of your guides. So although they probably didn't help you as much as you had hoped while they were alive, they're there. So you're being asked to ask them to help you. And the beautiful thing about this card reading is now they're in a much better place. They are happy. Because they're happier, they're in a better place to help you because for their soul to ascend, they can come and help you. So although we on earth feel bound by time, they are not because in the reality, in, in, in we don't really die. Our body just disintegrates in this lifetime. And so there's no time on the other side of the veil and they are still there to help you. So it doesn't matter, like I mentioned earlier, if they have signed a contract with you, they're here to continuously help you. So look out for little things that may be, little messages sending to you. You might see feathers flying down. You may see coins being dropped near you. You may find stones like this one around you, letting you know your loved one's there. And they're telling you that there is definitely someone coming in. They're asking you for forgiveness. They need you to forgive them, not only for their sole purpose, but also for yours so that you can prosper and let go of any hurt they may have caused you. And use this as an opportunity, as a learning experience, because you both came in here with the best intentions to learn the contracts and learn the emotions and um grow as a soul so by forgiving your parent or your sibling or your, your loved one um you release them and you cut the cords that can that continue to bind yourselves and this will allow you to meet someone new um you'll be able to express your love more freely because you're not going to feel like this person represents anybody from your past Actually, it's the opposite. By freeing yourself from this past hardship you may have endured, you're going to open yourself up to more love 
and passion within your life because you're going to be more trusting. You've cleared a karmic debt. You've cut yourself. So I would suggest you pray to um, Archangel Michael. He's one of the master ascended angels who has a, who has a, a sword and he can cut any cords you may have felt or still may feel or any pain or anguish you feel with this loved one that did pass. But rest assured, this person has a new understanding and they want nothing for the best for you in helping you, they help themselves. And they don't do this selfishly, they do this because they love you. So I hope this resonated. Um, please like and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And if you'd like a personal reading, um, feel free to reach out to me. My coordinates are in the description below. Thank you and hope to see you soon. Don't forget to like my, my channel. Okay. For those who picked pile number three, um, I have to tell you, this is one of my most favorite stones, a pink quartz. It signifies and attracts love. So I thought it was kind of appropriate for this kind of reading. So I hope this reading brings you some love and hope for you. Wow, this is a beautiful reading. Um, obviously, this is someone who was very, very, very dear to you. Uh, it was their time to go. As you may or may not know, we are souls. And before coming to earth, we have soul contracts we must fulfill. And it was their time. Um, I know it was very hard. I've lived um, the pain of a very dear loved one recently when they passed. It was very heartbreaking for me. It took me a while to pick up my, my, myself and move forward. But remember, everybody has their own time. No matter what you can do, you can't keep them from moving on because that's just a cycle of life. And although they have passed, they're not gone. Like we're never gone. And rest assured that when they did pass, they probably miss their family deeply and their friends deeply. Perhaps they may have traveled from far. It looks like, you know, here's people traveling uh, on to a beach destination. So um, the feeling I'm getting is the people or the person who passed, they were missing people from their background, their community or from the past. So when they did die, they were not alone. And many times people, when you're present with someone who's passing, you actually see them seeing other people. And because you can also hear them talking to people. My mother did that. She mentioned she saw my mother there, my father and her siblings. So I knew she wouldn't have much time left on this earth. And as people do pass, remember, they have soul contracts with you. Just because they've passed doesn't mean they've abandoned you. They're there to help you because you're still here. So that contract is still binding unless you want to sever it, which you can do at your own free will. And what they're trying to tell you, which is a very beautiful meeting, a very, there's going to be a very, very beautiful meeting very soon. You're going to meet someone who's going to be very important to you. I think maybe your, your grief, like we, we never get it over the grieving of someone who's, who passed very dear to us. We just learn to live with the grief. And they're trying to send you a message that they're helping you here. As you see, as I put the card down, that they're helping you to attract somebody very important to help you in your next journey of your life here on earth. Um, perhaps you were retreating and or you're being asked to retreat because it's time for you perhaps to heal or you're coming out of the retreat from healing because this person you're going to meet is going to be very, very significant. Uh, you may be saying, wow, this is great. Maybe you're ready for love. Maybe you're young in your 20s and 30s. You've never been married before and you're looking to find your life partner. Or even if you're in your 50s and 60s and have been divorced or have never met someone loving enough that you want to marry, it doesn't necessarily mean you will get married. But if you want to get married, then this is a fantastic card that indicates this person you're going to meet is very important, very significant in a life partner. So although you may or may not marry, this person is very important. If you're not looking for marriage, you may move in together, or you may have a serious monogamous relationship. You may live together, you may not. You may spend time on weekends. 
whatever fits your lifestyle, depending on your life state. This is a very, very beautiful relationship. There's going to be a lot of chemistry, a lot of love and affection. So someone from above who has passed, they are in such a good place. They were, they, they're with their family. They're very happy and they want you to be very happy in this life moving forward. They're sending you a lot of love. And I hope you find love very soon. And it won't be long, very soon. To be within six months. So I hope you liked this uh, reading and it resonated. Please like and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. If you'd like a personal reading, feel free to reach out to me. My description and my contact information is listed. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless and hope to see you soon. Hope you find your love. Thank you.